Ryan Giggs, who yeah. is now the manager of the Welsh national team. Um, yeah. What challenges do you, because obviously you were the assistant coach, assistant, yeah, assistant coach in Wales. Um, what challenges are there in international management that you just don't get at club level? And how do you feel Giggs is going to do in the Euros next year? Yeah, well, actually, I was the 21s. I was the 21s uh, manager with Mark, Mark, with Mark Hughes as the manager with, with Mark Bannon and Eddie Niswicky. So, uh, I mean, what it was, I, would, I just left Barnsley for three years at Barnsley on full time. I just got, I just, I just finished playing. So, uh, a relatively young, forty years old, just finished playing. So uh, when when you're day to day, it was great. When when you went and the international, um, it can be frustrating because you you're not you can't really control their fitness. You can't control yeah. what they do day to day. So when they come when they come with you for that ten days or then two games in ten days, all you all you got to do is get you get te you can't improve their technique because you've not got them long enough. So you've just got to tactically get them ready for the game. So you're doing the tactical side of it. Uh, you're doing the set pieces side of it. You never actually get to, you know, my, my players now, we're going to give my players, my players at Wimbledon, we're going to give them learning objectives. So we're going to give them three things to improve on. You, you know, even if you're 28, 29, 30, you can still improve. So when, you, when, mm -hmm. you, when you're an international manager, you don't ever get to do that. You're just purely, you know, uh, playing the game, get them organised to play the game, technical, get the set pieces right. Then you're nursing them to the next one. You just got a like, little nice and light, but get it right again. And you got, then they clear off again. So, you know, you have a bit of time off. You can go and watch them. You can go, and, but you can never really get into the nitty gritty and the day to day stuff that, you know, you, you do miss it. And it's, it's, um, it was, a, it was an eye opener. I enjoyed it, but I was probably, uh, probably 20 years too early for me. I think at 60, 65, I think it's not a bad job part time. Would you do it again? Yeah. Well, you can't. Oh, yeah. yeah. To, turn, to, to work at international level. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. A great opportunity. And, you know, forever thankful for doing it. You know, it wasn't that long because Mark left to go to Blackburn and then John Toshek came in and I, I'd like to have carried on, but uh, it wasn't to be. But, you know, but to, to take the opportunity down, I was actually, the story, this is, the, the, I was going to America. I had a job in America. I was going to LA, Pasadena. And All to right. get into LA, I was taking a family, sold my house, did everything. And to get into LA, America, I, because I played international football, you can get an O visa. To get this special O visa, I had to get a, a written reference from the English FA, which uh, I had. Uh, the Irish FA was Laurie Sanchez, who I played with, was OK. Scottish FA, I had a fellow called Billy Kirkwood, who coached me in, in, uh, in Hong Kong, which was great. And, I was, and then I rung Mark, I rung Mark Hughes up. I said, Mark, look, I, I need this. I need, a, I need a reference to get this visa. So he said, oh, I'm trying to ring you. I said, why? He said, I'm going to offer you the 21s. So I said, well, I can't. I'm going to pass it. I've, I've been over there. I've found a house. I've got school. The kids are coming up. And I was a bit torn anyway. I just, I put the phone down, said I couldn't do it. Rung him back two minutes later and said, tell me a bit more about the job. Anyway, then I phoned the boy up and said, we ain't going, we're staying here. And it was, it was, in, it was a great decision and, and I've loved every minute of it. And also after that, Mark took me to Blackburn, uh, took me to Man City. We, we went together at Fulham, then QPR, then Stoke. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's been a, it's been a good, good colleague, good friendship. And uh, just from probably turning that Pasadena LA job down, but my girls had, disappointed because they think they'd have been living next door to the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a big difference between LA and Wales, isn't there, mate? Exactly. exactly. So <laughs> it, yeah, but these are the choices you make and it's a decision that, again, you just think at the time, you know, you, you do it and, it and it's worked out really well for me. So another good decision. Although I wouldn't mind a bit of sun, I wouldn't mind LA. I've got to tell you. Yeah, you don't get much sun in Wales either, mate. But no, you're absolutely right. You've, ca you've carved a, um, a fantastic career as a respected manager um, in your game. Um, 